I did work experience with a company called LA Productions, which is based in Kirkdale. They were doing a series called Broken with Sean Bean. I'd do like floor runner jobs on, on other things that were getting shot in Liverpool. So it was like Peaky Blinders was one of them, the four series of Peaky Blinders. Yesterday, the Danny Boyle film, when that got shot here, the biggest job that I, I did after graduating was um, I was Philip Valentini's assistant on Boiling Point, the feature film. I don't think anyone at the time when we were, when we were making that film thought like, oh yeah, it's going to be nominated for BAFTAs and you know it's going to get a TV series on the BBC. I remember they were saying, you know, if someone messed up in the take, just go with it. But no one wants to be that person to mess up in the take. I mean, like. Because the way we shot it was like I was behind the wall with Phil watching the monitor. You'd say turning over, rolling, not expect to see a hair cut for 90 minutes. And it's like, I mean, I don't know how Phil felt because it's his baby, it's his film. But for me, just watching it as his assistant, even I was like proper on edge. It was like, it felt like you were watching like a high wire act. That BFI Future Film Festival, they get over like, thousand submissions worldwide and then they only pick 55 to get screened so even when we got picked that was made up but then like getting nominated it was like wow that's boss especially for the writing like do you know what i mean i think i was having me tea at the time scrolling on your emails and you just get like just say like best writing nomination i was like oh wow it was like boss that in it you know what i mean <laughs> Yeah, so it ran, it ran for three days, the festival, so our film, our film got shown on the Friday. So all that day, I was just like, nerves were just gone, and then my nerves were gone in there. And then I kind of started to relax, being like, do you know what, if I, it's all right, I haven't got it, so just, just relax. And then he said my name, and honestly, I can't tell you like what it meant. I was just, I can't, can't even remember the feeling. I was just like, oh, wow. It was a whirlwind, that's only way I could describe it. It was just like, just couldn't, couldn't really like believe it. Especially being there at the BFI and, you know, it's the heart of the British film industry. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thanks for